Hi, Olivia. I'm just getting my chat up on my computer so that I can see you better. Yeah, that's much better. We'll move you around this way a little. Hi, Abby. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for popping in and seeing me. Hi, Wanda. I hope you're all doing well this Saturday. And hi, Zizo. How are you? Hi, Olivia. Um, I hope you all had a lovely Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrated. Hi, Arab. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Send you big hugs. <laughs> it is freezing. Oh my goodness, we've had snow. We've had snow. I'm so excited about that though. Um, last night it snowed. And I'm going to take you about my house. Wanda, you look very festive. Yes! <laughs> I'm trying to look fest festive. Um, I'm so excited for Christmas because last year I didn't really have a Christmas at all because it was about this time last year I got this house. Hi, Michaela. I'm doing very good, thank you. Hope you're well. Oh, you've got to fly up to Scotland soon. What airport are you flying into, Abby? Hi, Nathan. Oh, thank you so much. That, you know, that means the world to me. Your comments mean the world to me. And I've not been able to catch up on comments recently because I've just been so busy. I've hardly been on the computer at all. Um. But I do, I do read all your comments. So last night we had snow and it was so exciting because I've got hot chocolate. Glasgow Presswick, yes, I've, I've flo flown in there a few times. Yeah, from London. I love you, Arab. I love you more. I love you this much. <laughs> Um, yes, I flew into Presbyterian a few times, and I've all also flew into Heathrow and Gatwick, loads of times. I remember when you could. I was a smoker at the time, and you could fly into the airport and, and smoke it up in their smokers room. I don't know if they still got that. <laughs> but I, do you know something? I love airplanes. And I don't get on them very much. I've not been I've not been on an aeroplane a lot, but I love the the aeroplane meals that you get. You know, it's just the tiny little rolls, and a little bit of butter to put on the roll, and a little a little bit of chicken and stuff. I just love it. I absolutely love the aeroplane meals. So, oh yes, it's snow. I keep waiting on the snow to come on again. I keep wishing for the snow to come on. Because um, it was beautiful when it was on. It was absolutely beautiful. And I've got my big tree up, which I'm going to show you. And I've got my little tree up. And it's like Santa's grotto in here just now. I'm going to take these about and show you everything in a minute or two. But it's like Santa's grotto. So I have actually... Oh, well, thank you very much, Wanda. I kind of curled it today. Um, hi, Diana. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Um, what, was that, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I've got hot chocolate. Anytime next video. Zizo, I don't know what you want me to do next video. Yes, it's snowed in the west coast, Abby. I'm just outside Glasgow and um, it's snowed and I know people that stayed in Glasgow and it was snowing as well. Hi, Danu. 
Danube. Oh, I'm probably seeing your name wrong and I apologise, but hello. And um, I'm glad you could join me this afternoon. It's 25 past two in the afternoon here. Air, just those, oh, I love air. <gasps> we used to go to air as a school trip by bus and we used to go to air and there's actually, I, I don't know if you know this, but there's a, a road in air and it's like an optical illusion. The road looks as if it's in a slant and you're going up the hill, but if you put water on it, it actually goes down the hill. It's strange. Oh, I love Russia. Do you know something? I would love to go to Russia. I am obsessed with the Marinsky Ballet. Obsessed. I absolutely love it so much and I would love to go there one day. Yeah, Abby. Yeah, I went down there in the car and let the car roll down. It's straight. It's, it's like an optical illusion. You've, you're on a hill and instead of going up, you're, you're going down. It's, I can't even explain it properly. <laughs> but I remember we poured water on the road and you're expecting it to go downhill and it went up. Hi, Dennis. Zizo, I'm in Scotland. Hi, Anderson. Yeah, California. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> See, if I won the lottery, I would go there. I would love to go to California. I would love it. Hold on, I get my drink. I'm drinking vodka. Get vodka in here. Abby said it's so confusing, it's so hard to explain to people that haven't seen it. Yes, Abby. Your French Cecil. I've done a little bit of French um Je m'appelle Linda, j'habite à Écosse. Um, two chiens, two petite chiens. I have two little dogs. <laughs> From New Jersey, what wow, Texas in the house? Yes. Oh my goodness. These all stay in these wonderful places that I would love to go. I would love to. <gasps> I'm a celeb. Oh, but what? I'm, I'm going to get on to that as well. I'm going to talk about that as well. But I'm absolutely loving it. And I love Ant and Deck. I absolutely love them. And the way... What? See, I get... I get distracted <laughs> what did I eat for Christmas dinner Christmas dinner is probably like Thanksgiving that you have over in America we have turkey and roast potatoes and vegetables all the vegetables and we have gravy and bread sauce I don't know if you've ever had bread sauce but bread sauce is wonderful you have that with your Christmas dinner I don't speak Arabic, sorry. I speak a little Japanese though, because I used to work for a Japanese company called Mizuno, and I worked with, in fact, I I, I ended up getting very close to some of the, the Japanese and they actually came to my wedding when I got married. So I can speak a little, speak a little and I'd love to go to Japan. I'd love to go to all these exotic places, but it probably won't ever happen. Air Beach. Oh my goodness, I loved Air Beach. We used to go to Air like a, a, a day out with the school and we also went to Troon. That was that was another place that we used to go like our, our school school days out and it was just wonderful. Do you know it's been so long since I've actually seen the sea? You know, I, 
Do you know where uh, my heart is in Rossi as well? There's an island in Scotland called the Isle of Butte. And um, Rossi people used to, they're just called, the main town's called Rossi. And um, people would go down the water, they would say, I'm going down the water. And it would just mean you went from Glasgow um, way down the water to this little island. And it's just, it's, it's like a magical place. <laughs> I absolutely love it, you know, and I always wonder if I'll ever get back there. Zizo, no, I'm not married. I'm divorced. I've been divorced for a while now. I'm happy being single. I'm happy being single. What is your favourite family Christmas tradition? <gasps> Mine is to buy a big puzzle and everybody joins to finish it. Oh, well, that's the kind of Christmas I love. You know, it's not about presents to me because I can buy presents, I can buy myself perfume or, or whatever all year round. But it's like having your family here and um, and I'm going, I'm going to show you something. Hold on, I'll take a bit of this. <coughs> Wait till you see this, right? What I'm going to show you. No, I'll not marry you, Zizo. Sorry, no offence, but I'm happy being single. But thank you very much for the offer. Look at this guy. Do you know what this is? This is a pass the parcel penguin. And what you do, this is going to be in Christmas Day, what happens is you pass him about inside him as toys and stickers and all sorts of goodies, believe it or not, that is inside this little penguin. And he's made with paper. So what I'm going to do in Christmas Day is I'll probably, I'll, I'll be in charge of the music and the music will go on in my family will pass this guy about and then when the music stops, whoever it stops on, tears off a layer of this and underneath some layers there's stickers and toys and all sorts of stuff. Isn't he so cute? Do some ASMR please. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? You can feel there's, there's, there's toys and things inside there. Do I have any children? Yes, I have three children. I have one that's going to be 25 in January. I've got one at 22. I've got my son that's just done 16. And my dog is going back. Do you know what? See, a week today is my birthday. Mr. Mikey. Dennis, thank you so much for popping in. Thank you so much. A new pocket letter video. Do you know, I just actually made a pocket letter for one of my, my dear friends. You want to see the dogs? Do you know what? I'll take these about, okay? This is great to be able to do this with this one. Hold on, it pull this lead out. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see if I can... There we go. See, there these are there, chatting to me. Hello, everyone. Where are these? Oh, I don't know what I've done there. There you... There these are. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Okay, this is my table, by the way. There's my, my drink. And I've got this, and it smells amazing. It smells like cinnamon and... Oh, cinnamon and cloves. And I've got this little candle. This is chocolate, it smells like. And then I've got this, and it's got pot puree. And, and I've got a little angel. And I've got this centrepiece that... I don't want to light it because it's just so beautiful like this. And then here, this is actually mint. It smells like mint in here, but it's got sparkles. 
and this is a little snowman he's got pot puree in it as well and it smells the same as that cinnamon i can't see your chat everyone but i'll catch up once i do this okay right this is my big tree this is my big tree look at the size of it i'll take you and show you some of the decorations a bit closer i'll show you some of the things that are on the tree I've got loads of little robins. I love them. And they feel like that's actually feathers. Let me see. I've got ballerinas because, as I said before, I love the Marinsky Ballet and I love ballerinas. Let me see. This one's like a little chandelier. And then this one's very special to me and I've still got the price tag on it bought this in the Disney store in Orlando and then this is glass and it goes all the way up I've got little birdies all the way up let's see what else I've got here oh, look at these high heel shoes yes beautiful what else oh look at this one it's a little birdie house and then a mask and it's got purple feathers you hear the van that's the van <laughs> the kids ice cream van has another ballerina and I've got look at this one this is glass and it's got polystyrene balls inside like snow and I made sure there was loads of things around the back so that people from outside can see nice things. So there's a the big one. And then over here I've got a nativity scene. You've got to have a nativity scene. I love that. And I've got little robins and then I've got these guys and they were in my ASMR video the other day. And then I've got trees. And there's a projector, but it's not on just now because I've plugged in my lamp. <laughs> and here's my, my telly. Or TV. Look at this. I've got like a garland going round here, but it's got lights on it. And I've got Santa sitting. And a snowman sitting. And then there's this big stock, and I think... My mum and dad got that for one of the girls in Orlando. And I'll just love this little house. It's wooden. And in my fireplace I've got this Santa on a rocking chair. Oh, pardon me, that was my belly there. And I've got Santa in a snowman and then another Santa here. There's all my wax melts. <laughs> and then on the mantle, I've got bells hanging down. And they're really quite heavy. So I've got red, and then I've got silver, and then I've got red. And then on the top, I've got my nutcrackers. This is just a plain garland, and I've put roses and other things in it, lights and things and then there's this scene that I absolutely love isn't it beautiful and then I've got more nutcrackers here we actually use this, I made this this took me about two weeks to make and I cross stitched it and it's fairies and they're all putting things on the Christmas tree and I've actually padded it, it's like padded and I also made these I cross stitched these and it's it's um, the song the 12 days of Christmas six geese a lane six 
seven spoons of swimming. You know, and I padded them as well. And over here, I've just got some nice candles and this snow. This is new and my wee snowman. I love him. And then I've got my rocking horses. And then I've got my wax melt thing and I've got another projector that projects snowflakes onto the ceiling. And then I've got reindeer villa collar. And look at this guy. Isn't he beautiful? You can't really see how sparkly he is. But he's gold sparkly. And he's got like, it's like frosted tinsel around him with a beautiful silver bow. And this guy, he's just fun, this reindeer. And he's decked out in sequins and you can move his legs all different. And I've got a diffuser here that's got cinnamon. And my kids, went, I can't remember what one, but my kids made that in school. And then we've got these reindeers. He feels like a Christmas tree. And then we've got a red velvet one. And then down here we've got another fun one, right? we've got a poppy. <laughs> and I've got my advent calendars in the background. So that's that. I'll show you my other tree. Oh, my ceiling, me and my son made all these paper chains. It took us hours to do, but it was really fun. It was really fun doing it. And we've got some some hanging decorations. As we go out here, I've got a snowman and more, more of these paper chains. And my tree oh, over here. I'll put the light on. I made this also. And I've done it on blue um, Ada, they call it. And it's little bird houses. Isn't it lovely? Because it's a blue background and they're getting ready for Christmas. So I made that. And you know, I think my kids made that as well. I also made <laughs> this one. And it's padded, I padded it. So it's like Santa Maria. There's my parents. See my fence, I've actually put, <laughs> I don't care if it's early, I've put tinsel all around my fence. And the gate, I've put more tinsel and I've put some green beads. Probably see what they're up to. Let's see what they're doing. I've actually got like sorry if I, <laughs> I think I lost my connection out there. So this is the other tree. This is the coal tree. This is when you come in the front door. And I love these guys. I'm actually going to keep a few of these out for ASMR videos because listen to the sounds. Beautiful sounds. Look at this one. I mean, some beautiful decorations on this, this tree. So that's my cold tree. And I think that's us. Oh, I made that as well. <laughs> Made that. So there we are. And that's it over there. Oh, there's my my painting. I've just put tinsel around it. Oh, and all my cushion covers are all. And my bed as well. <laughs> My 
Baden's sand tattoo. Yeah, plug his back in. Thank you so much, everyone. I done uh, Abby. I done a Christmas shop role play. Um, that's on my channel. It was a few decorations before I actually put them up. I keep looking up there. <laughs> oh, Wanda! Thank you so much. I love it and it just see with the snow last night when it was snowing last night it just warmed my heart I just feel this is amazing Wait, uh, oh thank you so much Ivona 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 thank you so much I'm glad you liked my videos um as I say, it's get it's get so hard to answer every um comment that I get now because I get thousands of comments, and um, as I say, I'm not on the computer as much as what I'd like to be on. So, um, I do see your comments because they pop up on my phone, but I can't answer all of them. But I do appreciate every comment and like and everything I get. Oh, thank you so much, Arb. Do you know what? I really want to get back into my cross stitching because that was the way that I stopped smoking, actually. Now, I had been smoking, I think, do you know, this is terrible, but I, I grew up, I grew up in, um, hi, Mary, Merry Christmas to you, sweetheart. Um, I grew up in Glasgow and, um, my first cigarette was when I was 11 years old. I was 11 when I had my first cigarette. And um, I ended up, I got hooked quite, quite quickly. I got hooked. And my whole school life, I was um, smoking, you know, and I, and I ended up really a heavy smoker. But I stopped, and the, the the way I did stop was with cross stitching, because you're always wanting to do something with your hands, you know, because you're used to smoking all the time. So I took up cross stitching, and it was wonderful, and I would recommend it to anybody. Take up cross stitching or something like that to do with your hands, you know, it it breaks the habit, of, you know, smoking. Hi Snow White, I love your name. But that that's how I actually stopped smoking was with my, my cross stitching. You know, and it it, it was enjoyable. And <laughs> all of my family members have got cross stitching things. My mum's got cross stitching things and, and you know, everybody's got cross stitching things. But it's really enjoyable to do it. I, I love it. And um the thing about cross stitching is Every single stitch you've got to count. So when you're looking at a pattern, you're looking at one, two, three, four, four green, and then you've got one, two, three, four, and then you look again and it's like five white, five white, and you've got to thread your needle, one, two, three, four, five. So the whole time you're um, counting. Zizo, I'm an old lady. A week today, I'm going to be 46. A week today is my birthday. <laughs> Do you know, and I don't, you know, being 46, it doesn't bother me. I'm quite happy being 46. <laughs> but it's going to be my birthday. And I, I just hope it snows. That'll be a great present for me. See, if it snows on my birthday, I'll be so happy. But I'm going to be here next Saturday on my birthday and celebrate it with you all. Sixty-two is young Wanda. Oh, thank you so much. Abby, I've not got a PO box because to tell you the truth, 
I had looked into it and it's £200 for a P.O. box. £200, I just can't afford it. So there's only like a, a few people um, that I actually give them my home address to, to send things to. Look at my poppy. See my baby. My darling, to mommy's baby. <laughs> I know, I know, Abby. <laughs> That's my wee baby. That's my wee cookie pie. My darling, mommy's kisses. Kisses my mommy. <laughs> Oh, they're all, <laughs> Mary, they're always in my videos. It doesn't matter what time of day. I try and do my videos um, early in the morning, really early, because there's a lot of traffic and people going by and and things. So I try and do all my videos early in the morning. But it doesn't matter because Poppy and Mr. Maggie are always... <laughs> going about and, and looking out the window and scratching and when Mr. Mikey sleeps he snores really really loud <laughs> oh that would be a good idea Abby I would love to maybe do a video with my babies my darlings and they're always wanting to be in my videos anyway so that would be a good idea <laughs> But you know, she looks cute sitting there. But the reason she's sitting there is because she gets a better view out the window. So if anybody walks by that window at all, she's going to get them. She's going to jump down and tell them, don't you go by this window. <laughs> See? Look at her face. What is that? What's, what's going on? Hmm? What's happening? What's happening, wee girl? <laughs> Out of exactly, she's ready to jump and chew the legs. <laughs> Zizo, I've already told you how old I am. I'm going to be 46 next week. <laughs> well, I put my Christmas tree there and I thought, put my Christmas tree at the window, they're not going to be able to get to the the, the window to terrorise people that are going by. But no, they still get, they still manage to get behind the Christmas tree. Oh... Uh, Scratch card mania. That's a cool name. See, I've got Mister Mister Mikey's just like the the liver and white, whereas Poppy's the tricolor. <laughs> Princess. Uh huh. <laughs> See, the thing about my Christmas tree as well as, um. My mum's dog, I've got a stocking that's wrapped for her dog. So they can smell the treats and toys under the tree. And my, my brother, he's got a cat. And that stocking's wrapped and it's underneath the tree. So they know. They know there's things under the tree that they could dig at. What time is it here? It's a 5 to 3 in the afternoon. Your cats pull your tree down every year. Wow. I actually seen a few people saying their cats um play with the tree. I don't know if my brother's cat um plays with the tree. I'll need to ask him. Ten AM, wow. So in the UK it's been, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll 
show you his look. See? Come away for you there. This is what happens. Like she's good, she's look. This is what's going on. There's Mr. Makey. That's what happens. Uh -huh. So I'm a celebrity, get me out here, has started. Oh, it's Snow White, thank you. Oh, Mary, they absolutely love that window because they sit, they sit there all the time. And Poppy comes up here and sits so she can see, especially if see, see people with, with high vis jackets on, like the postman or, or anything like that. If MD goes by with a, a high vis jacket, they hate it. I love Big Brother. And I loved Big Brother in the summer because Trisha was on it and I love Trisha. Trisha Paytas, I really, really love her. And she was on But it's going to be on again, Celebrity Big Brother in January. But just now it's I'm a Celebrity, get me out here. And there's celebs being put in the, they, they say it's the jungle. And it's in Australia. And I'm absolutely loving that just now, loving it. And I don't know who my favourite person is. It's Boris Johnson is a MP in the UK and his dad's in the jungle. Abby, I was annoyed as well because Sarah Harden won it and I don't think she should have won it personally. I used to be right into EastEnders uh, scratch card mania. I used to love EastEnders, but I kind of veered away from it because there was a, at the time there was a lot of really, really depressing um, soap lines going on and I, and I kind of came away from it. But I used to watch EastEnders all the time and I loved, I used to watch Corey. I love, I love Trisha. I love, do you know why I love Trisha? A lot of people don't like her, but I love Trisha because what you see is what you get with her. You know, she's not like um, on YouTube pretending that she's something she's not. She's, that's, that's the way she is. What, what you see is what you get. And I've seen too many um, YouTubers acting differently um, on YouTube than what they are in real life and that kind of that, that kind of annoys me because even me what you see is what you get this is I mean MD that comes on this this um, live stream that knows me will say that's that's Linda that's that's who I am that's this is the way I am I don't try and another thing about me is I'm not out to grab a lot of subscribers I'm not out to, um, the whole purpose of my channel is to get as many subscribers as possible and add them to, the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to do my own thing and hopefully help a few people if they enjoy what I do, then that absolutely warms my heart and, and that, that, you know, that's, that's what, that's what I do. Katie Price, I love Katie Price. I love her. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love her as well because, again, Katie, what you see with her is what you get. That's the way she is. And I love people like that. I love people that that um, are like human. I hate watching channels and you know that they're putting a complete act on. Yeah, there's, I'm not even going to mention names, but there's a few, there's a few um, channels that I've been watching and they're completely different 
in real life than what they are on YouTube and a lot of, do you know I don't like speaking bad about people but a lot of people are just after subscribers views um, super chats and all the rest of it whereas I, I, I do it because I enjoy it and um, you know if people watch me then that's an absolute bonus <laughs> and it's surprising because I think who would want to watch me but you are all wonderful I love you all My tattoos wander wow. Do you know I have got a lot. I'm trying to do you know I couldn't I couldn't even count my tattoos. Oh there's Lizzie. Hi sweetheart. Oh Lizzie, you're amazing and I absolutely love you. I hope you know that. I hope you know that Lizzie and you know that um you're on my Facebook and if you ever need to chat you can chat to me and it's confidential. I will never release private messages. See, there's an awful lot of that. Have you not realised that as well? There's an awful lot of people that if you talk to them and your your private message them, they'll, they'll screenshot your private message and then in the future they'll use it against you. I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. You know, if you private message me, that's a private message. And I would never release that to anybody. And Lizzie, I hope you know that. I hope you know I'm always here, sweetheart. Always. So, um, Lizzie, are you watching I'm a Celebrity? And all my subscribers, every single one of you's, um, you can find me on my Facebook. I think it's, I think my Facebook's Scottish ASMR. Blueberry, or it may actually be Linda Jackson, but but probably you'll be able to find me if you type that in. Um, and any time you want to want to talk to me personally, you can talk to me, and I won't I won't I won't release anything that we're talking about. You can talk to me about anything. My tattoos, okay. I've got my stars, of course. <laughs> There's my star. My stars on my face, and they come all the way down like that. That was actually two goes because at first I only had like seven stars and it didn't look right, so then I got more stars added. So I've got that. And the ones on my arms, I was planning and getting more, but because they removed all the lymph nodes out my arms when, when they done the mastectomy, um, I'm not allowed to get any needles at all in my arms so but I've got birdies there and there I've got like a little pattern and the funny thing was this part here when he was tattooing it there was like a nerve and my thumb kept flicking up <laughs> and I had to hold it down oh, Poppy's going crazy at the back Claire, I've just done a home tour, so see if you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll be able to see um, all of all of my Christmas decor. And I've got here, I've got these, I've got cherry blossom all down here, and I've got I've got two butterflies and a dragonfly here. The back of my neck, I've got a tattoo at the back of my neck. Um, I've got one on my bum. <clears throat> the one on my bum was my very first tattoo and I just but died because I was I was only young and um I had not I was really, really skinny at the time. I was dead, dead thin and had nothing to eat all day and I got this tattoo on my bum and as soon as you put the needle in oh, I felt the blood drain out my face. <laughs> so MD that's getting a tattoo Please um, make sure you have something sugary. That is the key and I promise you it works. Um, in fact, one of the tattoo artists I went to had a bowl with lollies in it. And everybody would get a lolly and you would sit and you would suck the lolly 
while you were getting your tattoo and it keeps your sugar level up and that helps the pain threshold. So that is a fantastic tip. Please aim to try it, it works amazingly. So I've got the one on my bum and then I've got a little gecko lizard on my right leg and on my left leg of its stars all the way up. Try to think what you want. Do you know I'm probably forgetting? Oh I've got <laughs> see I've got music notes, I've got a treble clef and music notes behind my ear. I've probably I've probably got more. I just can't I just can't think. Do you know what I would like to, do you know what I would love to make like t-shirts for my channel with um, um Scottish blueberry and maybe some like happy blueberries. They've got to be happy. Like smiley happy blueberries, doing things like cute things. Blueberries with little hearts, that kind of stuff. <laughs> maybe one day I will. I, I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to, I know a lot of uh, YouTubers are doing um, t-shirts and things I've not got a clue how I would do that but I would, I would absolutely love one and I would, I would wear it all the time <laughs> doing my shopping <laughs> do you know something i done a video clear the other day and it was an hour long video and it was me wrapping Christmas presents but I ended up deleting it because it was just too much noise I'll show you some of the presents that I did wrap hold on, I'll see if I can look, there's my pops right, I'm going try see the presents under the tree in fact, I'm going to take these out and show you some presents oh see, all these presents I'll show you what I do with presents for the for the little kids. Like my, my nieces and nephews, hold on. Oh right, I'll show you what I do. When I wrap the presents, I put bells on them and little boys. see Poppy. <laughs> right down, missies. Watch. So, the snow's all melted, <laughs> the snow's all away, it's all melted, but this morning we went and scraped the car and there was a lot of snow. I don't get stage fright, um, scratch card, um, it doesn't bother me going out. <laughs> do you know I've got I've got other presents to wrap. I might do a video with wrapping them, and I've got like selection boxes for the kids. I don't know if I should if I should wrap them or not. I just give them, you know. So, I'm a celebrity. I keep getting back to that. I'm loving it. And Boris Johnson's dad 
I thought, I'm going to really hate this guy. <laughs> and actually, I love him. I think he's great. He's so funny. He's so funny because he's... I don't think the man has got any idea what real life is for the majority of people in the country. You know, people that are um, counting the pennies and... Um, Okay, Lizzie, sweetheart, I hope you get back soon. Mary, it takes me days, it takes me days to um, decorate, but I love it. Once it's done, I absolutely love it. Well, that is true. Scratch card is very hot. <laughs> you, you always like someone that's really nice to be in the jungle so you can watch them go into the shower, you know, lather up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being in there myself. Mm -hmm. Toph is so funny, isn't she? I love her. Do you know, I think I, I'm actually going to predict, predict that she's going to win. That's what I'm going to predict because she is, she is so wonderful. And um, did you see the eating task? <laughs> when they had to eat all the horrible things, you know, kangaroos, anus and all this kind of stuff. And she was saying, um, how's the texture? And, um, oh, it's juicy and things like that to try <laughs> to try and help the other girl. And it was just making her worse. Is she not Abby? See, I don't know anything about her. Okay, you have a great day, Scratch Card. Thank you so much for, for joining me and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. See, uh, Abby, I've never, I've never seen Toph in anything. This is the first I've seen her. So, you know, first impressions. But Bor well, even Boris Johnson, Dad, I thought, I'm going to hate this guy. <laughs> and I've been, I've been laughing, laughing. He doesn't know what cheese strings are. You know, that's just, just hilarious. But Ant and Dick, I absolutely love Ant and Dick. I personally clash with her politically, but I mean, she's just not great in the other ways. See, Abby, I've never, I've never seen her, I don't, I've not got a clue, um, what she's, like, what, what she's like outside the jungle, this is the first I've seen her. Oh, oh the food eating task, I couldn't watch it. I was watching little bits and then hiding my eyes because it was making me it was making me feel sick. Fried bread, wonder. Yes, what what we have is fried bread as um, a frying pan. And you put a little bit of oil in and then you put your bread in, and then you fry it one side and then you fry it the other side. Oh, Abby, yes, a cheese string. Cheese strings are awesome. Where's my baby girl? Can you see my baby look? There's my baby. Where's my cookie? There. There, see, she knows. She knows I love her. She's got me wrapped around her little paw. Yes, she has got her mummy wrapped in the little paw, Abby. <laughs> yes, 
Abby, she does beg when I'm eating. And it's, it's, it's heart-wrenching because you end up giving them stuff. And then they end up, you know, having diarrhea or something. See, they need, they need to be on their, their doggy food. But I end up giving them bits. That shouldn't really use my baby. Look, everyone. Did you see that? Show to it again in a minute. Hold on. What are you doing? We'll do it again in a minute. She, is, she, she knows that's her secret weapon when she does it. See, as soon as she shows me her belly, that's it. Yes. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to tonight's um, I'm a celeb. I'm trying to think what happened last night or what the task is. I think it was something to do with water. They were going to be underwater for this task, so that's going to be fun. There's <laughs> no way. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. You've got an essay to write, oh, Abby. Have a, a cup of coffee and put some nice soft music on the background and do your essay. Oh, nearly broke that leg. Well, everyone, it's been wonderful talking to you all sort of this afternoon but I think Poppy needs her food I think she's telling me it's dinner time three thousand words Abby I remember those days of doing essays and counting all the words <laughs> Well, everyone, thank you so much. Next week, next Saturday, it's going to be my birthday. Yay! So it's going to be an extra special live stream. And um, I'll show you what I got for my birthday. And... Um, oh, thank you, Wanda. You're so sweet. I love you all. So I hope you can join me next Saturday because it's going to be very special to me. And um, that that will be me 46 years old. An old lady. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Denu, I hope I'm saying your name right. Oh, thank you so much, Abby from Ohio wow see he's all staying in these wonderful wonderful places but thank you so much everyone again for joining me and um, I'll see you next week bye everyone <laughs>